Hi everyone, I'm Tom. This channel's called Slicker Drips. I am going to be playing Welcome To today, which is a draw and write game where rather than rolling dice, we are drawing cards. Kind of like Avenue, but the game isn't that much like Avenue. So we start the game with three equal piles of the number cards. We are going to be competing to build up the best new neighbourhood, whether we are going for certain sized areas that are worth more based on the real estate agent that we've uh, <laughs> we've increased to get the most points there, or whether we want the most swimming pools or the most parks and things. We're going to be doing all sorts of different things to try and score the most points. So this is a two-player game today, but really, any number of people can play, and you can play at home as well. If you've got a copy of Welcome To, there are PDFs available as well of the score sheet. And also, if you have a smartphone or tablet, I believe it's on Android as well, it's definitely on iOS, there is a Welcome To app where you can, it basically replicates the, the score sheet. Uh, so yeah, if you would like to play along at home, then you can feel free to do so. All you need to do is keep track of the cards that I'm drawing and you get to play along as well. So in a round of the game, we draw the top three of each card and you'll see the, the corner of the number card tells you what is on the back of it. So it gives you an idea as to the powers that will be available next round. So we draw these three and this is what's gonna be available to everyone in the first round. You are gonna pick one row of this and it will give you a number to fill in on your sheet and a special power. So some of the rules for filling in numbers on the sheets. A number can only be in each row once normally, and they have to go in numerical order. So you can't go one, four, three. You can leave as many gaps as you want. So I could put the 12 in and decide it goes here maybe. The numbers go up to 15 although there is a power that would let you increase that to 16. And there is uh, this power, which lets you uh, double up on a number. So you can bend some of these rules, but largely those are the rules. One number in each row, and they go in numerical order, but you don't fill them in in order. You can leave gaps and hope that you've left big enough uh, or small enough gaps as the game goes on. So we can choose from a 12 or a 13 and take the Surveyor special power. Now the Surveyor lets you draw in a fence anywhere on your neighborhood. There are already fences at the beginning and end of each street. They count from the beginning of the game, but this would let you write a 12 in any street and then anywhere between two houses on the same street, you can draw in a fence. Now, why would you wanna do that? We have these plans up here that we are trying to race for over the course of the game. So the first plan wants you to have three sized three neighborhoods. So that would want me to fence off, maybe I'd put a fence here so these three were separate. You'd want fenced off areas of three anywhere on your neighborhood, three of them, and they have to have numbers in them as well. As soon as you have three numbered, three sized neighborhoods, you can score eight points and then everybody else can only score four when they do it. And number two is a three, a three, and a four. You have to use different neighborhoods. As soon as they've been used for this, they get written on that they've been used and you need to get some more neighborhoods going. And number three here for 11 points is a size one, two twos, and a size three. So that's one reason that you want to fence off areas. But also at the end of the game, we are going to get points for our neighborhoods. So again, that is fenced off areas with numbers all numbered inside. They count as a neighborhood. Depending on the size, they are worth this many points. And throughout the game, we might increase how many certain sizes are worth. So even if you fill up a street, the maximum size is six. So you wanna get some fences in there. Now, the other ability, your other option is to take a seven and take the BIS ability. Now this lets you copy a number. It lets you write the same number next to a number that you've already written down and you write BIS next to it. And yeah, that lets you break the rules of the game a little bit. And you cross off your first uh, BIS place here and you are going to lose this many points at the end of the game. So as soon as you have used one, you're gonna lose one point for having done it. But it can give you a lot of flexibility filling in these numbers. So I think to start off, I am going to put a 13 up in this smallest neighborhood. I'm gonna put a 13 in here and I don't write anything else in. I can do a, a fence though. I think I'm gonna put a fence here. So I've made a three. I really wanna get this filled in with something. Now Marty is gonna go for the middle. He is gonna go for the bis. So he writes his seven in. I think he's gonna go there. 
And then he also gets to write seven bis and cross off the first slot. So he's lost a point straight away, but he has filled in two things already. Okay, so pause if you haven't decided what you're going to take, because I'm going to reveal the next ones for the next round. The game continues, by the way, until either someone has filled in all of the houses on their neighbourhood, someone has claimed all three plans, or if you can't take anything, then you have to fill in one of these permit refusal slots on your player board, and you will lose some points as soon as you've done your second one. As soon as someone hasn't been able to fill something in for the third time, the game will also end. There are also some advanced rules that change up the, that give you some more complicated or different plans and that let you build roundabouts, which lets you split uh, streets up. I'm not playing with those at the moment. This is just the standard game. Okay then, so next round, we have a 13, a five, and a six. So the powers this time, we have the real estate agents. Now before I mentioned that the neighborhoods are all worth particular values. If you take the 13, your real estate power lets you pick one of the size neighborhoods and increase its point value for the end of the game. This is the landscaper ability. So you would get a five and the landscaper. The landscaper lets you create a park. So the park goes in the street that you built the house in. If you take the five, you will get the landscaper ability, which lets you fill in one of these park spaces. It has to be on the street that you put the five in and it lets you increase that number. So at the start, all of the parks are worth zero, but as soon as you've put one in, they're worth two, four, six, and you know, the maximum 10, 14, and 18 for these down here. And finally, there is the pool manufacturer with a six. Now, if you write the six in a house with a pool, pictured on it then you get to circle that pool and to show that a pool's been built there and cross off one of these spaces and you're going to start earning more and more points towards the end of the game so we're going to do marcy's first because he's got an easy decision i think he is going to go for the six because it's right next to the seven he already put in it's got a pool and that's three points for marty for the end of the game i would like to put a five in here i think and start working on my parks. So that park is worth two points to me now. Okay, <laughs> again, pause if you haven't written anything down. Here is the next round. So we have the surveyor again. So fences, fences, and the real estate agent. Now Marty is definitely going to go for the one here and he is going to put a fence there. So he has cut himself off. He can't put a pool there anymore but he is gonna fence this off because if he gets another fence there, that's two threes already. But I think Marty is gonna shoot for the three, three, four here because that's 12 points if he can do it. I want to fill in my neighborhood up here. So I am going to take the 15 and I'm gonna increase the threes because I think we're gonna be building a lot of threes if I'm gonna go for the plans. Okay then, the next round. So we have an eight bis, a 10 uh, park landscaper, and a 10 real estate agent. I think Marty is gonna really go for filling this street in. He is gonna take the eight, and with his bis ability, he is gonna copy the one, but he has lost two more points now, and I went through the page with the pen. I'm gonna continue with my parks, I think. So where do I think a 10 needs to go? I think, here maybe and there we go let's increase the landscaping here next round so we already know the abilities we're going to have uh, the real estate pool builder and surveyor there is yeah there's one more ability that hasn't come out yet and it's gonna come out next round so what do we have nine with a real estate agent five with a pool or 13 with a fence i think i'm going to take five with a pool and put it up here. Marty, he could take five with a pool. That's five there. He's filled in a three neighborhood already, but the, pop, the pool would be wasted. He wouldn't get that benefit. He could copy off me. <laughs> I think though, he's gonna take the nine. He's gonna increase his threes as well. Because uh, yeah, that's what the plans dictate. Yeah, he is really far ahead at filling up this middle street. Okay, next round, Are you ready? So we have 12 surveyor, eight surveyor, 
and three with the temp agency. So the temp agency gives you the ability to change the number that you are putting in by one or two. You can add or subtract one or two from the number. And it means that you can write a zero in if you want to, if, uh, if it was uh, a, a one, for example, or a two, and you can go up to 17. This is all explained handily, by the way, by a lovely player aid. Tells you exactly what all of the different powers do, and it's got some lovely art on the back as well. Marty is going to go for a 12 here, I think, and he's going to put another fence in. So that is one three done. Once he fills this in, that's another three, and then one, two, three, four. He might have to split this one up a bit, or he could put the four somewhere else. I like the sound of a 12 because that finishes this neighborhood up here. And I can put a fence somewhere. Let's put a fence here, because that is 334 if I can fill in this street. But I filled in way less than Marty has. Okay then, the next round, we have got 12 bis, two bis, and two surveyor. Marty's gonna go for the two and the fence. He is actually gonna split this one into another two and a three to work towards number three as well. I think I'm gonna take the two and the fence and put it in here, I think. I'll put the fence there. Next round. So we have the temp agency with a nine, real estate nine, and fence five. It's tempting to get a nine to put it right next to the 10, but I kind of want a pool to go there. Now Marty, would have to take the temp agency if he wants to fill something in up here. I think he does though. He's just gonna put a 10 up here. He's gonna take that and for using that, I don't think I mentioned this at the time, there is a kind of majority race going on for the temp workers. Whoever has used the most at the end of the game gets seven points. I think I'm gonna go for the nine here and the real estate agent. Next round. We are having a real estate three, a temp agency 14, and a landscape of five. I'm gonna take the three here and increase the threes. That's the most I can increase them now. So all of my three neighborhoods at the end of the game are worth six points instead of the three they normally would be worth. Now Marty could claim the three threes if he put in the 14. I think he's gonna go a bit of a different way though. He is going to put his five, let's put it up here. Yeah, he's been a bit risky in putting it all the way along. And so that's two points for that park now. New round. So we have 11 bis, 12 real estate and eight real estate. So 11 is good for me. I would give up a pool to do it. I think Marty is gonna take the 11 here and he is going to use another bis, and he's gonna fill in here. Now he doesn't wanna claim a plan just yet. He could claim the three threes, but I think he is gonna try and go for, he sees that I'm not close to doing one yet, so he can hold out and hope to snag the number two first. 11 would be nice for me, I don't particularly want to copy anything, but I think filling in the number is worth it to try and catch up a little bit. And let's copy this two here. So yeah, wasting a pool. Next round, we have 10 with a park, six with a park, and six with a park. So I'm definitely gonna take six with a park because I can't take 10. And I would really like this. That's worth six points now, and then it's eight, and then it's 18 if I can get all the way along with this. Is that on the camera? Yeah, I think it's just about on the camera. I've tried to squeeze everything in because you know, I know some people can't watch the shaky cam stuff. I think Marty's gonna continue with his park up here and increase this one. Okay, next round. We have seven with a temp worker, 10 bis, and four fence. I think I'm gonna take the four and put a fence here. So that's another three that I've got. And Marty is gonna do the same here. He's gonna give up this pool and he's gonna put a fence there. Maybe this will become the four that he needs to be able to do the plan two. Next round, eight surveyor, six real estate, seven real estate. 
I think I want the eight. Try and catch up. Maybe I can get this 12. Where do I want to put a fence? Let's put it... Let's put it all the way along here, maybe. Because we need a one for the number three plan. Marty is also going to take the eight. Yes, he can do it, can't he? Because that's his four. So he's got four, three, three. He is going to claim number two. So you draw a line above them now to show that that's a little neighborhood. And more importantly, to show that these can't be can't be used for another plan and you are not allowed to put fences in the middle of the use. There's no subdivisions. So rush fans will be crushed. That is number two claimed and I should look at the number of points before I flip it over. That is 12 points for Marty. That's on camera, isn't it? And I can still do it, but I'm only going to get seven now. So I'll probably want to race to number three if I can do it. Next round. So we have seven, eight, four, I'm going to take the seven and a fence. Hopefully I can get a low number to put in there. And then that could be my one. Because now I've got three, two, two. I just need a one somewhere. Or another fence could uh, subdivide something else. Marty. Oh, he's a bit limited for numbers, isn't he? He's going to have to take the seven or the eight. I think he'll take the seven here. So he's got two, three. Yeah, that's another two and a one. I think he'll put one here. Maybe this will become the one. Next round, we have, here's the pools at last, <laughs> all in one. Okay, so Marty, nine pool sounds good. Yeah, he's gonna go for nine and a pool. What about me? I could do the same. Nine and a pool. I did really want a low number, but that's just not happening this round. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I'm not leaving a gap. It's always good to do that. Okay, next round. We've got more pools. Four. I want really low numbers if possible. No. So we're going to have to make some different plans, aren't we? Oh, I definitely. Fifteen. Cross that park off. So I have one, three two, two. So let's mark those off. Two, three, one, and another two. So I have done number three. I've written the number for Marty's in the wrong place, haven't I? So this is going to be 11 points and the tripod is right in the way of me writing this in. Let's do it diagonally. <laughs> Marty needs to take a 15 somewhere. I think he's going to put it up here and that is his park finished. That's going to be 10 points. And we can even write that in now. He can't get more points there. Next round. Oh, there we go. There's a one. So I can... Oh, no, I already claimed the plan, didn't I? I think I'm going to go for an 11 here. Because I have now finished the park. So I can put in 18 here. And Marty would like to just put a one up here, but that's already been claimed now. He's going to put a 10 in here and fence this off so that this can be one of his threes. He's going to race towards number one now. Next round. I think Marty's going to take a 14 and put it here. And he's going to copy this 11. Seven might be the good one to copy because of... Oh no, 14 gets him a fence. Okay. Could you ever notice that? He's not copying anything. Uh, he wants threes, doesn't he? He'll put a fence there. I think I'm going to get 14 and a fence. I'm going to make another three here because I'll get loads of, beyond plans, I'm going to get six points for each of these threes. New round. What do we have? We knock the cards all over the place. Yeah, you're not, really, you're not going to be able to see how much Marty's getting for parks. But yeah, as I mentioned, we're tight on space. I would like to zoom in more, if anything. Okay, so what do we have? Nine temp, nine bis, five fence. So I can only put any of them in the middle of my neighborhood. I'm gonna go for nine bis and copy this 11. 
So how many threes is that? One, two, that's only two. I could do three, three, four and get seven points, but we might as well try and get the eight because we can get the seven at any time. Marty's gonna go for the nine as well and copy, oh, either way it's giving up a pool, isn't it? Copy that because how many has he got? He's got a three, a three. If it has to be an eight or another bis. Yeah, he's losing nine points though with the number of those he's used already. That's pretty significant. Let's say, so three park, six pool, 10 park. I think I'm gonna go for six pool here. That's a bit risky because I do need seven and eight to fill that up, but I would like some more pool points. Marty is a bit stuck here. He's just gonna go for the three, I think, to fill this in because he can't get the park up here. He can't put a 10 in here now with how he's put these numbers. Should have put the nine there, shouldn't he? Because uh, that would have been nice to get a park there. And he can't put six anywhere with a pool apart from here, which would be really limiting. Six, massive gap, and then seven. Okay, I think we both got a turn there. 12 temp agency, five park, four fence. I'm happy to go for parks. Get some points there. Marty could go for parks at the bottom. Yeah, I think he's going to go for parks. Maybe it'll work out. Who knows? Uh, we have one pool, eight real estate, eight bis. Marty is going to lose another three points. And he loses another pool if he does that. He's going to do it there. Is he? No, he's not. He's going to copy this one. He could have taken the eight in the real estate guy. So he's now got one, two, three threes. So he can claim the eight points. We'll just uh, swap those around. So can I do it? Because otherwise Marty's just got the points and that's it. So I've got one, two, yeah, I can do it. So I'm gonna do eight and do the real estate guy. I will increase the twos. So I get the eight points as well because we did it in the same turn. So that can go away now, can't it? We've, we've uh, both done it. So next round, seven fence, nine parks, eight real estate. I think I'm gonna go for an eight. I'd be happy with that. Increase my twos. Marty can't put anything down. No, he has filled in his uh, seven, eight, nine areas and cannot place anything. He doesn't lose a point yet, but that is uh, a number Marty's not gonna get. Seven park. Three park, 10 temp worker. I think I'm gonna go for seven park. I'm happy with that. Marty, it's tempting to use the temp worker and put a 12 in here. The high numbers may already have all gone. We could always increase this park. Yeah, he's gonna make, he's gonna make this a 12 and at least he's probably gonna win the majority because I haven't done any temp workers yet. Okay, he's got, yeah, he can write a 13 now in as well. So the pool, it's no good. Two park, that would be nice. Marty could increase his park a little bit. I think he's gonna use his temp worker to put in a 13 here. As for me, I could work on my park here. I like the sound of that. <laughs> and the off chance that a one pool comes out, should I leave that empty? No, let's. Let's go for increasing that. Okay, so Marty's got, oh. Dropped a card. Okay, what have we got? Seven real estate, 11 fence, 14 park. Marty can't write anything, can he? He can only take numbers that are lower than five. So yeah, he's restricted himself. He's written in more numbers than me, but possibly restricted himself too much. I can't write in a seven. I could do an 11 or a 14. I like the sound of 14, let's put it there. And I've maxed out that park now as well. Uh, we are going to have to reshuffle. Okay, the last three cards do become the powers because you know we saw the backs of those. And then the newly shuffled ones come in. And these are the numbers that we've got. So terrible for Marty. 
And sadly, that is his third attempt. This is the end of the game. This is the last turn. I've done 3-3-4, three, three, haven't I? 3-3-4. Three, three, yeah, I think I've done better than Marty in this. I think. So that was on a previous turn. I could have done that. What can I do now? I can't write in 6, 8 or 9. So I'm stuck as well. So that is the end of the game. So let's work out the scores. So first of all, we can do the plans that we achieved. So I've got 19... 26 there. Yeah, I'm determined to keep this on camera, so you have to see me writing diagonally a little bit. So I get 14 and 18 and 0. So what's that going to be? 32. 9 for my parks. Nothing for my temp workers. Neighbourhoods. Did we do any 1s? We did 1. So that's going to be worth 1 point. 2s. We got 1, 2 there. And another one there. So two of those, two times four, eight points. Threes, I got one, two, three, four, four threes, which is four times six is 24. I've got a bad feeling now I never crossed off the threes for this. I'm sure, yeah, the subtitles will tell you the correct score. <laughs> Fours, I just got one, which is four points. Fives, I don't think I did anything bigger. No, so no points for those ones. I lose three points for the bis and no points for here. So I think I've got 101 there. And Marty didn't quite get. He got his two, his one, his three. He needed one more two, but yeah, just couldn't get a number low enough. Hadn't left himself with enough options, I don't think. So he gets 20 for this. Uh, his park, he just, he got two points for the bottom one. So that's 12 for parks. Pools, he got six. Temp workers, he got seven. Now let's see, he got one, one. So that is a point. He got, let's see, twos. He got at least one, there's one. Yep, he did a two. So that's two points. Threes, he did one, two. That doesn't count because it doesn't have a fence on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six times four. 24. Fours, he just did one, didn't he? So that's four points. And I don't think he did anything bigger. And then he loses 12 for his bis and five for not being able to fill things in. So I think he scored 59. Now mine may be a little bit less than 101 because I think I may have fudged the plans a little bit there. But regardless, that is a game of Welcome To. What did you get if you played along? Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and that you might want to check out Welcome To a bit more. If you'd like to know what I think about it, then you can click the link somewhere here on the screen. But thanks very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.